Now that we have seen state of charge estimation, we will go through the state of health estimation. So SOH is given by total capacity of the battery pack today over total beginning of life capacity. The units of this are given by ampere hours or units of charge. Just as we have seen in our previous session, so SOH can be seen in our daily use of phones which lasts for a day when new and later on lasts for only half a day after a few years. So the cell phone initially has SOH of 100% and the total capacity basically equal to the beginning of life capacity but after say 300 or 600 discharge cycles after about a year or two you would see that perhaps it's gone down to 70 maybe even 60% of SOH. Now it's very important to understand what this means because this gives us idea of how much time or how much energy you can discharge out of the system over time of battery pack. Now let's have a look how this works. So let's consider on y axis we have capacity and is represented by ampere hours and then in the x axis we have battery cycles. Now what do we mean by cycle life? Now over time as you charge discharge the battery the capacity of the battery pack will decrease over time. So just to give an example when initially we purchased the battery pack it had zero charge discharge cycles this would have a capacity of say 40 ampere hour after let's say 200 discharge cycles now you may see capacity of 37 ampere hour then let's say once you get 600 cycles you see a capacity of 33 ampere hour. So this forms a curve of decreasing nature of the total amount of capacity that you can store in that battery pack on each as you age the battery pack. And that is the primary definition of state of health of battery pack. But there are other definitions of state of health of battery pack as well. Now what we have seen in the graph is a state of health capacity and that is the effect of capacity fade over time. Now there is also another effect which can be calculated in an algorithm in a BMS which is very helpful and which is called a state of health impedance. Now what does impedance mean? So it's just a fancy word for resistance. So any sort of lithium and battery cell in general can be modeled as a 2 by 2 device modeled basically here's your ideal lithium and cell and here's what called ESR the equivalent series resistance. And so typically for a cell this might be say 20 milliohms at the beginning of a life at a certain temperature. So for for example let's say in the circuit the resistance is 20 milliohms and over time as we charge and discharge the battery you will expect that this ESR or equivalent series resistance will increase over time. Just to add in the same graph now on y axis we have impedance and the unit is milliohms. So initially we have relatively low impedance at the beginning of life but as we charge and discharge the cell the impedance starts to rise and which is called as impedance growth. So as you age the cell and use it your impedance increases. So these two factors are very important to monitor within a BMS because it gives an estimated understanding of how much capacity you have left to discharge at any given cycle in the cycle life of the system as well as as you discharge it you are going to have more voltage drop than before or we will have more temperature rise than before because as you charge or discharge the battery over an increasing resistance over time we are going to get more thermal output for the specific battery pack system in general. The battery will run coolest at the beginning and over time it will start to be more resistive and thus less efficient and generate more heat over discharges. So it's very important in the BMS modeling algorithms to be able to understand what this looks as the battery pack ages. So how to calculate SOH? There are two methods. Periodically we need to completely discharge and then charge the battery. In this process we need to track the open circuit voltage OCV. Now again discharge the battery slowly 
and carry out the coulomb count so we get what is the exact capacity the battery can hold so soh is equal to the measured capacity divided by beginning of life capacity so this is one of the method the second method is by internal resistance we have seen as battery electrodes deteriorate its capacity to deliver current reduces so simply the difference between the internal resistance of a fresh cell and a used cell gives us the soh also we have cell testing data which corresponds to cell milliohm resistance with soh for example 20 milliohms corresponds to 100% soh 30 milliohms corresponds to 80% soh and so on in the next topic we are going to see state of power estimation